PDP expects Nigerians to trust them, especially when there was an Asaba declaration mm. where we all agreed that power must go to South, number one. Secondly, there's also the dollarization that we saw at the prime, where it was clear mm. that you are buying delegates' votes. And you said to yourself with your own mouth that, how, mm. can I, how can I want to be a president when I'm getting there through corruption? So how do I trust a party? First of all, you disregarded the entire South, and then you're sharing dollars to win the ticket for your party. I can't trust you. How can I trust APC that forced people and they were paying as if they were buying popcorn, 100 million for a form. We paid 40 million. Including serving government officials, 100 million. Mm. We see serving government APC officials, fly private jets up and down. I know how much it costs to charter. I see serving APF government officials carrying money from delegate to delegate meeting them. APC. We haven't, we haven't reached that level in PDP. We have been out of power now for nearly eight years. It is not perfect, but APC for me, and I'm being as objective as possible, is far worse. Because, you see... You I'm asking about to... your party, you are talking about another party. No, 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 no. because I'm in opposition. opposition. My job, no, no I am yeah. telling you that that is why I'm in PDP. Yeah. And I've told our friends who talk about, who criticize, go into mainstream Politics. No, political parties. Go, yeah. if you like APC more than PDP, go there. <clears throat> if, so that your <laughs> impact felt. will be better felt. I am telling you that PDP, I'm sure some of our senior members are watching, they have a lot of work to do. Mm. We <laughs> all have great work to do, mm. at least to persuade you mm. that we are now much serious so, than we see. were before. But if it's the same politicians that we gather again, then... So you see this advice that you've just given. Banky Wellington may not agree with you. Because he left a fringe party and joined a PDP party. And, they did and we heard it. that we, he did uh, an election and he won. He was counted in front of, or at least we saw it on social media. And the next thing, his he name was the, not even on the list. He, money, he, took, he, he decided money. to make an impact. He even, you know, when he talks about it, he says, let's leave here. Let's join the big party so that we can make a difference there. And yes. So someone like ba that, Banky, and a lot of us Banky are thinking. is my bro. Banky is someone that I love like my own blood brother. Mm. And I met him in Abuja. These things do happen. But he didn't give up. He came to Abuja, okay. where they told him that amends will be made. And I'm hoping the amends will be made. Why did it happen it in much the first place to him? I've told you, there are okay. characters in every political party. Oh, wow. There is the, even in the small parties. I told you that when I was in labor, after my 10 million <laughs> evaporated, <laughs> I ran. <laughs> That. Your party had this country for 16 years, mm. and we didn't see any particular serious development. And many, and that's what caused the change. That I said, you know what, we want change, we want change, and we brought in Buhari. Mm. But Nigerians are saying that, can we trust PDP at all? Can, do, do, should, should PDP even be smelling presidency I, at all mm. in I, this situation? I, I, I will give you two responses. Mm. Number one is that what we said, PDP spoiled in 16 years. Mm has taken APC less than seven years to make wars. Mm -hmm. There is a saying in Yoruba, mm -hmm. if the mm -hmm. gods cannot make our lives better, the gods mm -hmm. should live our well, lives the way they met it. it mm. So that is one. Number two, my advice to PDP, as a PDP member, is that if we want to win, beware of this propensity for big manism. Mm -hmm. Come down to the people's levels. Mm. Showcase men and women of accomplishments. In my article two hours ago, I already assigned portfolios. You see, there's something I, I find fascinating in England where they call it shadow cabinet. So you have the ruling government and you have the opposition government. Mm -hmm. So the opposition, they already have their own Secretary of Agriculture, Secretary of Transport, Secretary of Health. To check sec mm -hmm. To check, exactly. Yes. So you can now compare that, oh, if delegates power, 
For example, I said Wike will be the first person to become a minister under my government if I had been picked. Why, Mr. Project? Nigeria's shortfall in the area of infrastructure is so bad that you need someone of Wike's capacity, confidence, courage. It doesn't have to be president. Mm. I mentioned that we need to work on the judiciary in Nigeria mm. and that I would recommend, subject to ratification by my party, a man like a, a Chief Michael Zekume, SAN. This is a man who is so cerebral, so intelligent, and so powerful, such an orator. You need colorful. If there is something you must give to former President Buhari, uh, former President Babangida, and uh, Obasanjo, they had men and women of accomplishments what in their team. Yes. Yes. The Okonje Uyala you mentioned just now Obasanjo. came under Obasanjo. Yeah. Under Rabangida, when I went to see him about three weeks ago in Mena, I told him, I said, Do you, can you imagine you had Professor Balaji Akiyemi in foreign affairs? Mm -hmm. Today, you might not even know who is who. A lot of the ministers, do you know, we don't know their names. So I'm hoping that PDP, number one, in choosing the vice president, go and look for someone who will be able to represent what Nigeria what zone in are the... You? What zone, yeah. Oh, it has to be in the south, of course, naturally. South. But everybody is talking south-south. I don't care. It could be south east. It could be south south. It, I'm from southwest and south south. You cannot ignore southwest in the equation of things because that is the second largest voting block in Nigeria. Northwest, the next is southwest. So if you have someone who covers the two for you, who can mix and mingle, who has access to the youth, who is technology savvy, people call me digital president. <laughs> I, I take it very. So if they Proud offer me. you vice president, you take it? Oh, why not? I, I, off, I will invite for number one. If, I, if number two falls in your laps, why not? What's wrong with it? Mm. I'm not one of those people who will be pretending. If they don't offer me, it, it makes no difference. But if they offer me, why not?